Are you ready to unlock the secrets to creating stunning videos right from your smartphone? Then welcome to a world of limitless creativity at your fingertips. In this video, we are diving deep into the incredible features of CapCut, the ultimate smartphone video editing app that will transform your videos from ordinary to extraordinary. But wait! Very small. Stick around until the end because we've got a golden ticket to skyrocket your video editing skills and career. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like this, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. And if you're finding value in what you are watching, please give it a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and it helps us continue to create more great videos for you. Thanks for being part of our community. Now, let's get started. I believe you have already downloaded and installed the CapCut app on your smartphone. If you haven't done that, just go to Play Store or App Store, download and install it now. You can also visit the CapCut video editing website and download the app right away. If you have done that now, then let's proceed. So you open your CapCut as I've clicked on mine. You open yours. And then the first thing you're going to see is the home page for the CapCut. If you reach the home page, you will see several options. For the new version, you will see camera, you will see retouch, you will see captions, you will see AutoCAD, you will see prompter. So the camera feature on the home page of the CapCut mobile video editing app is used to record videos that can be edited using the app's various features. The retouch button is a feature that allows you to retouch skin and smooth out blemishes in your videos. This feature is particularly useful for those who want to enhance their appearance in their videos. The captions button on the home page is used to add captions to videos. Adding captions to videos is a great way to make them more accessible to people with hearing impairments, and it can also help to convey your message more effectively. The AutoCAD button on the home page is a feature that allows you to use AI to cut your video and add overlays and audio for you. This feature is useful if you want to create a quick video without spending too much time on editing. However, if you want to match a specific editing style, meme, format, or TikTok trend, CapCut has thousands of templates that you can choose from. Now let's move on to the prompter. This feature allows you to add scrolling text to the video you are creating, making it easier for viewers to understand the content in the video. We also have edit. The edit tells you all the projects that you've been doing. So if you finish a project, you export it, you complete it, still it will be shown here. So in case maybe you want to later come and then edit it, although you have the finished video already, you've sent it and then you've used it to do whatever you want to do. When you come here, you can click on it. The remaining parts here is for you. You come here, you can click on it and then go and make additional edits and then export okay uh -huh. and then we have the templates usually if you download templates they are also shown here or if you add up templates they are also shown there and then we have camera this one goes in line with this okay uh -huh. so all the videos that you've recorded with this camera will also be shown here right those are the available tools that we have the next thing that we will talk about is the new project Anytime you are editing a video after taking the video with your phone or whatever camera that you have, when you want to start working on it using your phone, you click on new project. Okay, you click on new project. So let me click on mine and let's see where it takes us to. As soon as you click it, it takes you to your gallery where your videos are. Okay, now take a very good look at this. We have at this session, we have videos, which tells you all the videos you have in your gallery. So you can scroll through to get all the videos and then you select the one you want. If it is not video that you want, but you want photos, okay, then you want 
the photo so you click on the photo right you click on the photos and this one will take you to all your photos in your gallery right good so that is that now aside this one the next feature i'll talk about is you see on top they've written albums albums sometimes the video that you want will not be shown here simply because it is not in the particular file that the videos are in okay it might be in a different folder or in a different route so what you do is you click on the album this is the album you click on the album and then that one will take you to your files or your folders so all the folders that you have in your phone will be shown here right and then you scroll through and you choose the folder that your video is being located so let's take it as maybe my video is in WhatsApp video so you click on it and then you go and you select your video if it is photos too that you want the same thing so you click on photos and then you go to where the albums was located now it is at WhatsApp so you come to WhatsApp images and the type of image that you want to choose you choose it right good let's go back new project now the next thing that i want to talk about also is the stock videos here is stock videos this is stock videos you see this one stock videos anytime you click on that one the stock videos it takes you to the already made video templates that that is in the CapCut app okay that is the already made video templates in the CapCut sorry let me click on it for you to see so you should always have data on because this app uses data so it takes you to the templates now usually we use this to introduce videos you see some of the videos you see uh, the bubbles will be coming and all those stuffs the effect that you see usually the stock videos are sometimes used right good so we will learn more about this in our other tutorials don't worry so now let's take it as you want to start a project you click on the new project now you go to your videos or photos and then you select your video or photo that you want to work with so let me click on this funny video here that is what i want to work with when you click on it you see the zero zero buttons here any video that you want to add to your um, editing then you click that zero button you see it will be numbered to so one two three four five six seven eight nine if i want to edit all these video together then you click the circles you see that as you click they are numbered then you click on the add button this is the add button okay at the bottom right corner right good so when you click on it then it will take you to your editing um space or your editing platform for you to start work if you don't want to add them all but you want to only work on one video you select only that video so for this tutorial i want to use only one video so i select it right good and then i come and then click on the add as soon as you click on the add it will be compressed and sent to the editing page for you to start work when you import a video into CapCut or any video editing software, the app may apply a default compression or transcoding process to make the video more manageable for editing. This is a common practice in video editing to improve the performance of the software and ensure smooth playback during the editing process. However, it's essential to understand how this process affects video quality. 1. Temporary Compression The compression applied during the editing process is usually temporary and does not affect the original video file. It's primarily done for real-time editing and playback convenience within the software. 
The second is quality settings. Many video editing apps, including CapCut that we are using, allow you to adjust the quality settings for the preview or editing process. You can often choose between lower quality previews for smoother editing or higher quality previews that may require more processing power. 3. Final Export The video's final quality is determined when you export or render the edited video. At this stage, you can often choose the desired output settings, including resolution, bitrate, and codec. It's here that you can ensure the highest quality for your final video. So whenever you are importing video into CapCut and you see compressing, don't be worried. You can adjust the quality to suit whatever highest quality that you want. Now let's proceed. So after it has finished, now you will see that the video, we have entered the editing session, right? We have entered the editing session. Let me play it for you to see. Don't mind me. <laughs> yes. So that is the first thing that you are to know when it comes to CapCut. Now, in the next video, we will learn about the buttons that are available in the CapCut that we are going to use for the editing. As we wrap up this incredible CapCut tutorial, remember, this is just the tip of the editing iceberg. Imagine what you could have achieved with our comprehensive smartphone video editing masterclass. From advanced techniques to insider tips, we've got you covered. If you are ready to elevate your video editing skills using this CapCut mobile editing app, Join our full masterclass now. Don't miss out on this opportunity to become a true video editing pro. WhatsApp any of the contacts on this screen for payments and registration and get started right away. See you in the next video.